Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have a Roosevelt dime for you from 2012. In specific you can see that it's a 2012 P dime. And if we look at it we see it says Liberty at the top and God we trust under Franklin D. Roosevelt's chin. The initials here John for John R. Sinek. The 2012 here and right above them the P. And so this coin um, has been made looking like this since 1965. It continues to be made in 2018. It's a dime worth 10 United States cents. It's a copper nickel clad copper, 2.268 grams in weight and 17.91 millimeters in diameter. It, they have done a few different things with the dimes over time. Of course, in 1964, uh, they went to, they had silver dimes. In 1965, they went to this particular copper nickel clad copper dime. And then it wasn't until 1980 that we started getting the P on the dimes for the Philadelphia Mint. So if you have P on the obverse or front of your dime, that, that lets you know it was after 1980. Before then, they didn't leave anything on there. So what else could you have there? You could have the P on 2012, you could have the D on 2012, and you could also have the S on 2012. If you do have the S, we're talking about a different kind of dime. And what do I mean by that? Well, the 2012 S's were only sold in proof sets. So in other words, you bought, uh, you bought them from the mint or a dealer for the mint and the 2012s uh, were not made for circulation with the S mint mark on them or the San Francisco mint mark. At Denver, the D mint mark, they made 539,500,000 and the P mint mark, they made 519 million. So they made over a billion of these babies between Philadelphia, Denver, and the Sacramento proof sets. It is a reeded edge, and because it's, it's the clad, you can see the copper inside and the nickel over the top, or the copper nickel over the top. Now, this coin does not have a lot of reported errors in terms of real valuable errors. Um, however, um, there are a few that have what they call um, dye errors. And the die errors um, are actually on the die when they're made. And one of the ones that I've seen actually has some lines down through here and through here underneath. It almost looks like there's a building or something behind there. And uh, the guess is that those uh, particular dies had either feet or finger damage or some kind of die contact or die polishing error that was down underneath here. We can't see that on this, but we can see some little kind of divots here, and then a kind of a funny little bit of extra metal over here. The, that does not make the coin really any more valuable in this instance, at least for, from our perspective. But you will see these. Whenever you make over a billion of anything, you're going to have some errors. And now most of those errors are going to be found at the mint and taken out of circulation, but you're still going to have some. And if they, if they see something like this here, they might very well leave it, or they might just not see it because it's, it's very, I mean, this is blown up quite a bit. If we look down to what it would look like if we're looking at it with our eyes, it'd be about that size, right? And you can still see it down there, but you might not pick it up if you're going through a billion of them. So now on the back of, the, of these dimes, uh, we see that it says United States of America on the top, one dime at the bottom. And we've talked about this before. The 10 cent coins from the United States never say 10 cents anywhere on them. They say one dime. As the quarters from the United States never say 25 cents on them, they say one quarter dollar. So this particular one on the back of this coin, we see this is the same back that's been uh, used since uh, 1965 
and on the back it says uh, E. pluribus unum has an olive branch on this side, an oak branch on this side, and a torch uh, or an eternal flame kind of torch right here. There's a dot here, dot here. You can see the little acorns here, the olives on this one. So it's it's just a it's it's a relatively um, busy engraving. And this side of the coin was also engraved by John R. Sinek. All right, so if you're looking for these coins uh, and you find a 2012, uh, chances are you're not going to find anything special or valuable ab about it unless you find a proof coin um, or unless you find an error coin that I have not seen yet, but there's probably some out there that we just haven't seen. Other than that, uh, we'd love to have you leave comments in our comment section if you have anything you'd like to say or have us add. And we'd also love to have you subscribe to our channel at the DC Coin World International Coin Channel.